Welcome. I'm Samuel. Today I'm going to take you through how to access the e-learning platform. Now, first of all, you should have a username and a password before you can access the e-learning platform. So kindly take a username and a password from the IT unit room FF9. Now after getting the username and the password, you should have access to a machine with internet or a mobile phone. So if you are using a mobile phone or a laptop or a computer with internet, just open your browser, go straight into the address bar and put in the university website domain name. And that one is www.prizebeuniversity.edu.gh And hit on the enter key. Now scroll to the footer where we have the e-services. Over there we can see e-learning center. Kindly click on the e-learning center. Now we are now at the e-learning center. On the platform we have, on the left hand side we have the navigation tab, we have the main menu. On the right hand side we have the calendar, we have users online at the moment. We have the login interface, we have activities, what is going on. Then we have also the login Another login interface there. I'll prefer to use the one at the top. So I'll just click on the login label and the system will present me with the login interface. So I'll put in the username. That is the username and the password I got from the IT unit. And after putting the username and the password, I'll just click on the login button if the username and password is correct the system will log me in now to be able to show whether you have been able to log in or not on the far right top over here I have my name there and I have the logout meaning I've been able to log in as I showed you on the left hand side, we have some tabs, the navigation tab, the main menu, the administration, and on the right hand side, we have uh, similar things also there. Now, after logging in, the first thing we should do is to be able to update our profile and change the password. One thing we should take note of is that the password or the account was created with a default password. So, whenever you log in at the first time, please update your profile. And change the password and we can do that from the administration tab so we have my profile settings I'll just go there and the first link we have there is what edit profile so first of all I'm going to edit my profile now the profile section I have my first name surname and email address and other things there so please go through again to see whether the names over there is correct and your email address also correct for the email address make sure you put in the right one because the system will communicate to you for example whenever you misplace or let's say uh, you miss your password you request for password resets and the system will send a message to your email so please provide a correct email address for the training I'm using this email address now so I'll make sure the name or my name is well spelled correctly and other things then the next important thing for us to do is also to set up our profile picture for easy identification by your friends and your lecturer you should add the profile picture and to be able to add the profile picture I'll just click on the add button here the system will present me with a window to, uh, to navigate to be able to upload my picture so I'll click on upload the file
and I'll click on browse I have to navigate to where my picture is and my picture can be seen in pictures camera rule there's a picture I'm going to use so I'll just select the picture click on open and now I'll click on upload this file So I've been able to upload my picture. That's a passport size picture. After that, I'll click on update profile. So now I have my profile picture here. Then other information also here. Now the next thing, the next important thing for me to do is to change my password. So I'll go to change password. And that's a request for the current password I'm using. So I have to put in the current password. Then the new password I'm, uh, I want to use. So I'll put that one also in. I'll type again. That is to confirm it. And after that, if things or if the password you have been able to enter is correct, the system. After clicking on save, I'll tell you. Okay, now the password has changed. So I just just, just click on continue. Okay, so now I've been able to change. I've been able to edit my profile and also change my password. Now the next important thing for me to do: go to the home link click on it the next thing I have to do is to be able to enroll onto a course to be able to enroll onto a course you need to get enrollment key for that particular course so first of all scroll down look for your campus I'm at Okoa campus I'm going to use the level 100 course from the department of ICT so under the department of ICT I have second semester we are in second semester so I'm using a second semester course then I will see what the program I'm doing there so when I clicked on that one now I have the various levels I have level 100, level 200, level 300, level 400. Based on the level in which I am, I'll go in for that one. So I'm in level 100. I'll click on level 100. Then we have a lot of programs over there, but now I want to enroll onto basic electronics. So I'll move straight and click on basic electronics. The system will ask me for an enrollment key and your lecturer is supposed to give you an enrollment key for each and every course so I have my enrollment key I'll put in my enrollment key and I'll click on enroll me so if the enrollment key is correct the system will enroll you to that particular course so I've been enrolled to basic electronics now I can access the lecture notes, I can access the assignments, I can submit my assignments, I can write quizzes, all here. So these are what these are for, for topic one. That is basic electronics. These are the lecture notes, and I also have assignments there. So I can go ahead to download the lecture notes by clicking on lecture one. Then system downloads or give me access to download that lecture notes. So I'll click on save and save it onto my machine. Now there's the end of part.